Sophia's Magical Necklace, a book about critical thinking for kids, created by Pierce Watkins. Sophia had always felt like the unluckiest person in the world, no matter what she did. Things never seemed to go her way. She tripped and fell on the way to school, got a bad grade on a test she had studied hard for, and lost her favorite toy at the park. Sophia wished every day for something to change her fortune. Do you believe Sophie is unlucky? What causes someone to be lucky? When should we believe in luck? One day, her grandmother came to visit from out of town. Sophia loved spending time with her grandma and was excited to show her around her hometown. During her visit, Sophia's grandmother gave her a special necklace that had been passed down through their family for generations. This necklace is very special. Her grandmother told her, It has brought good luck to our family for many years. How do we know if the necklace brought good luck? Could there be other reasons why the family was fortunate? Sophia was thrilled to receive such a special gift and couldn't wait to wear it everywhere she went. Little did she know, the necklace would change her life in many more ways than she ever imagined. Sophia began wearing the necklace everywhere she went. She loved how it sparkled in the sun and how it felt against her skin. But something else started to happen too. Good things began to happen to her. She won a prize at school for a drawing she had made. She made new friends on the playground. She even had a great day at the park with her family. She couldn't believe her luck. She started to believe that the necklace was the reason why she was so lucky. Should Sophia believe the necklace has brought her good luck? How could we know if something has brought us good luck? Could Sophia have a good day without having her necklace? She never took it off, even when she went to bed. Whenever she faced a difficult situation, she would touch the necklace and feel reassured that everything would be okay. Her friends and family noticed how much happier she seemed and how things always seemed to go her way. Sophia was convinced that the necklace was truly magical. What makes you believe that necklace is a magical or not magical? Is this the best reason to believe that? Could you be mistaken about this belief? What is the best way to know if the necklace was magical or not magical? One day, Sophia went to the park with her family. She was playing on the swings and having a great time. But when she got off the swing... She noticed that the necklace was gone. Panic set in. She searched the area frantically, but it was nowhere to be found. Sophia felt devastated. She had lost her lucky charm and didn't know how she would ever be lucky again. She went home and couldn't stop thinking about the necklace. She couldn't eat or sleep and felt like she had lost a part of herself. Her family tried to comfort her but she just couldn't shake the feeling of sadness and loss. A few days after losing the necklace, Sophia's grandmother came to visit again. She noticed that Sophia wasn't wearing the necklace and asked her about it. Sophia told her what happened, and her grandmother smiled warmly. Oh, Sophia, the necklace didn't bring you luck. It was your positive attitude and love and support of your family. That's what has always made our family happy. Sophia was surprised to hear this. It made her feel better. She started to realize that she didn't need the necklace to be happy or lucky. Do you think Sophia is correct? Do we need magical necklaces to be lucky or happy? Her family and friends were always there for her, no matter what. Just as she started to feel a little bit better, a boy from the park came running up to her, the necklace in his hand. He had found it and wanted to return it to her. Sophia was overjoyed and thanked the boy with all her heart. She put the necklace back on, but this time she knew that it wasn't the necklace that brought her luck or happiness. 
It was the people who loved her. She felt grateful for her family and friends and knew that she was always fortunate to have them in her life. From that day on, Sophia wore the necklace with a new understanding. She still believed that it was special, but not because it was magical. It was special because it reminded her of the love and support of her family. Sophia realized that sometimes things may not go her way. But with help of her family and friends, she could always find a way to be happy and lucky. She didn't need a lucky charm to feel lucky. She had everything she needed already. From then on, whenever she faced a difficult situation, she would touch the necklace and feel the love and support of her family. And that was all the luck she needed.